This is Ice Cream Gecko, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the Magnum Mint Ice Cream. I bought this for 3 euros and 29 cents a few hours ago at Maloko Globus, and we're going to take a close look at this. There is something a bit special about it, and it is that we have got an English ingredients list right there at the top, right? Pause if you want to read that. Pause if you want to read the address of the company in your country. And pause if you want to read the nutrition table. Now the ice cream itself is mint ice cream coated with milk chocolate uh, and sugar pieces. That's interesting. No wacky translations have to be done from me today, which is good. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure why this is the case now, usually. They've got uh, different packages entirely for, you know, the yeah, mainland European and the, the British Isles ones. Interesting, very interesting. I'll put the rest of them into the freezer and we'll take a look at this. All right, I'm back at the desk. Let's uh, put this right here. That looks lovely. Let's take a closer look at this. Uh, not to be sold individually, all right. The foil on the outside feels thicker. And it usually does, which is interesting. Maybe this is actually made for the UK and they're just, you know, trying they're just trying it out on the mainland market now. Alright, yeah, looks wise, nothing special about it at all. One side a bit rounder than the other, which is usual. We've got the Magnum logo on the very bottom, only on one side as well. Also nothing too special. Let's uh, take a close look on the outside of this. Do we see anything anything peculiar? No, not really. We've got those pieces there. Did they say it, 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 those should be sugar pieces, right? Yeah, they are quite dark. I would have expected them to be a bit brighter. I don't know. I don't know. Interesting. First bite of the Magnum Mint is going in. I have to say that um, this tastes very much like something that you would imagine when you would imagine after eight as an ice cream. This is, this is it. This is pretty much it. Something that I did not expect though was that they went for a much lighter ice cream on the outside. With something like mint you would expect a darker chocolate on the outside. This one right here is actually quite light. Let's give it a bit of a cross section right here, take a look at it on the inside. Yeah, we just have the mint ice cream and uh, the chocolate on the outside with those sugar pieces. Let's take a spoon and scrape a bit of that ice cream from the inside off. There we go. That's all right. Yeah, um, it is quite hard. It's not as creamy as I expected it to be, which is a bit of a surprise. But then again, those mint ice creams usually are a bit more watery, so uh, I should have expected that. Yes, it tastes like like milk ice cream with um, mint flavor in it. Mint ice cream, yeah, that, that is quite fitting, the description on the box. Let's take a, a taste test of the chocolate coating on its own. And that tastes fine as well. Now, I don't really know what those like sugar pieces are on the outside. I would have expected them to be a bit, you know, lighter. They look quite dark and we can take a closer look at one of them here and don't really they don't really want to give up their secret here it seems there we go oh it looks like something that has been candied yeah do not know what that is called exactly in English but yeah that looks familiar. All right, I'm going to finish off this particular ice cream now, and I'll be back with you and the review sheet in just a second. Consumption complete, on we go to the review sheet. First impression wise, it has been absolutely fine. Nothing to complain about it at all. Color wise, same story. I did expect a bit of a dark chocolate, to be honest, on the outside, but uh, yeah, um, nothing looked off color. And the, the ice cream itself was nice and white as well. So uh, everything fun in that regard as well. Consistency and texture wise, now the only thing that I can really complain about a little bit is the ice cream itself. That could have been a bit more creamy. This one right here was a bit more dense, more maybe watery, but you know, that's just something you have to have to expect when you take a look at uh, mint flavored stuff, uh, especially like, like ice stuff. Usually it's 
quite a bit more watery. The uh, consistency and texture of the chocolate, however, that was absolutely fine. Uh, a bit lighter, but uh, still it was nice and crunchy. And those crunchy pieces, those sugar pieces on the outside, those were quite nice as well. Taste-wise, um, yeah, most things on here were absolutely fine. The ice cream itself tasted like mint ice cream. Yeah, I've got absolutely nothing to complain about the ice cream base itself when it comes to the taste of it. Uh, those those sugar pieces were, I guess, sugary. They were sweet. Sweet and crunchy. That was nice. And the ice cream itself was, uh, no, the chocolate on the outside, the uh, cover of the ice cream, that was nice as well. Although I think they, they should have gone for a bit of a darker chocolate here than what was on here. Um, that would have been that very perfect uh, after eight flavor profile that so many people enjoy so much. For decades and decades and decades, it seems. Thermalization wise, one out of one point because we've got a magnum and it tastes like mint and it does that very well indeed. Nine out of 10 is therefore the final rating of the Magnum Mint ice cream. If you've got a question or a video suggestion, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope we're going to see you soon. Until then, bye bye.